Hello there, thank you very much for coming back. Here I am reacting to Eurovision 2021 and guess what? Switzerland released their song today. John Steers uh, released his song for Eurovision 2021 and I have to react to it because he was my, one of my favorites last year. I'm really excited about this one because my expectations are super huge. I want to hear some high notes, I want to hear a splendid ballad, good music production and I'm ready to be blown away. He sings Tout l'univers, which means the whole world. Composers and songwriters are Walter Hardy, Nina Supermans and Xavier Michel or Michael, I'm not sure. Nevertheless, uh, let's get into the reaction because that's why you're here. And of course, I cannot wait any longer. Starting with reaction in 3, 2, 1. Very slow start. It's only a matter of time when it's going to explode. Beautiful blue visuals. His head voice is so clean. Beautiful. Taking, taking us on a journey, both visually and melodically. Progression in the music, drama, oh, it's getting faster. Visuals are mesmerizing, really. Beautiful transition. <laughs> Only Albanians can make me cry. And this happened. To say I like this would be a massive understatement. Uh, I don't know about you, but I loved it and I'm sure this is going to land in my top 10, if not top 5 or even higher. I remember reacting to his song last year, Répond de moi, I was almost crying and the same thing happened now so it's just something about him and his voice that affects me so much I just can't help myself and as I said this was magical and for me this is something that hits me hard 
and I'm not ashamed to say that. In public, this song definitely deserves a good analysis, so let's start. I would say that this song takes you on a journey uh, in every single way. Music video takes you on a journey, uh, his voice takes you on a journey and music takes you on a journey as well. Um, it starts very slowly, almost insignificantly, you can barely hear it. The musical climax happens during the second chorus, uh, which surprised me because I expected it to come last in the, in the last chorus but actually it came in the second and I didn't expect that burst of energy that happened. Um, a lot of instruments came, came in and uh, the song really got another power uh, during the second chorus. Immediately after that it dies again, literally it dies. There is not much time for you to gradually build up again to that point, it just goes straight from very slow tone to a musical climactic experience uh, and yeah I I'm really happy with this one uh, ballads are my thing uh, lyrics uh, so this song is I believe about death maybe uh, separation of lovers or uh, maybe he's seeking uh, himself as we have seen he has taken himself out of the car so maybe it's the song about the identity or is this song about love? I'm not really sure. Uh, you can help me out in the comments. Uh, let me know what is your interpretation of the song and music video. Or if you know the legit uh, interpretation, I would like to know. Uh, my favorite lyric is, oh, again, me and my French. <laughs> Pardon my French. This is going to be an experiment number two. C'est le qui décline derrière une chambre de ruine. Yeah, uh, this is my attempt of saying Dawn is fading behind a field of ruins. Um, beautiful poetic lyrics. What I take from them is death uh, or end of a cycle, end of something. Um, just beautiful altogether to put it like that. Uh, let's continue with analyzing his voice. Is there really a need to analyze his voice? Come on, I mean, this is the best uh, male vocalist we have this year and probably we will have this year. Um, my humble opinion, you have every right to disagree. For some reason, his high notes and his high voice do not uh, produce the same effect as, for example, a Spain's representative who has very nasal tone to it uh, John Steers doesn't have that nasal note in it and it sounds so much better in my opinion. It is not as uh, squeaky and it just sounds so much cleaner and better. Of course he hit all those notes perfectly and I'm sure he's going to hit them live as well. He had some uh, help uh, with the final chorus while he was performing his high note. A backing vocalist that sounded almost like a choir took over and sang the last chorus instead of him. Perfect. I think that too blended well and I expect nothing but perfection from his vocals on stage. Uh, let's see what he can do about the performance and choreography on stage. To put it out there, I don't think uh, there will be any choreography involved, or dancers for that matter. Uh, I think he will perform alone, maybe with backing vocalists uh, somewhere behind or on a side, but definitely he will be in the center and his voice. Uh, one thing that occurs to me, and it is not an impossible thing, is that I can see him uh, playing a piano and we might have another Duncan Lawrence moment. Uh, we have seen him performing Répond de moi uh, in that way, so we might expect the same thing with this one. Uh, maybe they choose something, uh, some very simple light effects, maybe some LED screens on the floor or anything, tight camera angles and something very very simple. Just pay attention to melody, pay attention to his voice, close your eyes and enjoy. You don't have to watch it, you can enjoy it with your eyes closed. I think that is, this is the song that can achieve that effect. Let's see what they can do about the staging.
as I said actually earlier, uh, I could see a piano on stage, I could see just him standing and singing, maybe sitting and singing, uh, but I don't expect uh, anything spectacular on stage, uh, I don't expect props, I don't expect uh, some crazy visuals, maybe something just to set the tone and uh, really uh, emphasize these most important parts of the songs. Uh, I'm more interested in camera angles for this one because I believe they have to be tight and there has to be that uh, moment just like we had with Arcade. Uh, so when he hits that high note there needs to be something effective. Uh, put that in the recap and I think success is guaranteed. In terms of styling, I believe he is going to wear something dark, probably black, as he is mostly in black. Nothing really that stands out and screams, so look at me. I think he will go with the simplistic approach here and really focus on his vocals. Uh, let's talk, will this qualify? <laughs> apply for specific songs will this qualify I mean come on if this fails to qualify I quit forever I don't I can't see what must happen for this to fail I think we're talking about a fight take it as you will my personal opinion as someone who is watching Eurovision for 15 years intensively I would say this is top 5 material, and not in this year, but in any year. Brilliant, exquisite, professional, fantastic vocals. I could go on, but I will stop, because I want to know your opinion. Tell me in the comment section, what do you think of this song? Uh, do you see it in top 5, top 10 as a winner out of the finals? I respect any opinion, and I want to hear your arguments. Thank you very much for watching, leave a like, subscribe for more reaction videos and I'll see you very soon. Until then.